Japan's nuclear safety agency will raise the crisis level at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant from five to seven, the worst on the international scale. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency made the decision on Monday. It says the damaged facility has been raising or rather releasing a massive amount of radioactive substances, which is a threat to human health and the environment over a wide area. It used the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale to gauge the level. The scale was designed by an international group of experts to measure the gravity of nuclear events based on ratings of 0 to 7. On March 18th, one week after the massive quake, the agency declared the Fukushima crisis a level 5. That's the same as Three Mile Island in the United States in 1979. Level 7 has only been applied to Chernobyl in the former Soviet Union in 1986. At the time, hundreds of thousands of terabecquerels of radioactive iodine-131 were released into the air. One terabecquerel is one trillion becquerels. It believes the cumulative amount from the Fukushima plant is less than that of Chernobyl. Officials from the agency and the Nuclear Safety Commission will hold a news conference on Tuesday morning to explain the change in evaluation. Another strong earthquake has rattled northeastern Japan exactly one month after the tsunami disaster at magnitude 7.0 earthquake hit Fukushima Prefecture, northern Japan at 5.16 p.m. Japan time on Monday. Japan's meteorological agency says it was one of the strongest aftershocks since the March 11th quake. The agency issued a tsunami warning for the coastal areas of Ibaraki Prefecture. People living in Fukushima, Miyagi and Chiba Prefectures were also put on alert. The tsunami warning was later lifted. The epicenter of Monday's quake was on the Fukushima coast at a depth of 6 kilometers. The earthquake registered an intensity of 6 minus on the Japanese scale of 0 to 7 in Iwaki City in Fukushima Prefecture and Hokota City in Ibaraki Prefecture. Shocks of lower intensities were recorded over a wide area from Hokkaido down to the western part of the country. The Meteorological Agency has called on people to stay alert for further aftershocks. The official said this earthquake is believed to be an aftershock of the March 11th quake. He also said many comparatively strong tremors have happened since last month. He called on people in the affected areas to stay alert for possible landslides and building collapses. The Japanese government says the radiation accumulated over a 25-day period at some locations in Fukushima Prefecture has exceeded the permissible level set for a full year. The government announced the findings on Monday. The calculation is based on data collected from 53 locations up to 60 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi power plant from the day following the March 11th disasters through April 5th. 34 millisieverts of radiation had accumulated over that period at one location in Namie town, about 24 kilometers northwest of the plant. This equates to about 314 millisieverts per year, more than three times the permissible level of 100 millisieverts. On Monday, the government expanded its 20-kilometer evacuation zone to include towns where annual exposure ex is expected to top 20 millisieverts. It asked residents to evacuate within about a month. Nuclear Safety Commission Chairman Haruki Madarame told reporters about the situation on Monday. It's not that something terrible will happen all of a sudden if the level surpasses 20 millisieverts. We'd like the residents there to evacuate as soon as possible, but that would cause inconveniences. The current level of radiation in the air is pretty low, but I hope they will evacuate within a month. Some dairy farms in Fukushima Prefecture have started shipping milk again after radiation in the milk met the government's safety standards. The shipments are the first since the government lifted a ban on milk from seven towns and cities in the prefecture last Friday. The health ministry imposed the ban last month after unsafe levels of radiation were detected in milk from areas around the Fukushima nuclear plant. A farmer who owns about 100 cows shipped one and a half tons of milk on Monday. I'm delighted. There have been harmful rumors. So I was anxious about whether I'd be able to sell the milk. 
I hope it reaches consumers. The prefectural authorities will do a follow-up check for radiation in locally produced milk once a week. The Japanese government has announced that it will expand its evacuation zone near the crippled plant, while experts say it will take a long time to stabilize the situation. There are areas outside of the 20-kilometer radius which, due to weather and geographical conditions, have locally higher deposition of radioactive material from the nuclear power plant and higher cumulative doses. Staying in such areas for six months or one year could mean even higher cumulative doses. We have therefore designated such areas as planned evacuation areas. People living in the expanded evacuation area are to be asked to leave their homes within a month or so. Edano said the amount of annual radiation exposure in the zone could exceed 20 millisieverts. The annual safety standard set by some international organizations is 20 to 100 millisieverts. Even one month after the disaster, the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant does not know when the situation will be brought under control. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, has been working frantically to restore cooling systems at the reactors. The quake and tsunami stopped the plant's ability to cool the nuclear fuel rods, resulting in explosions and fires at some of the buildings. To this day, the plant continues to release radioactive substances into the air and sea. Heavily contaminated water and turbine buildings and a concrete tunnel is hampering restoration work. TEPCO plans to begin moving highly radioactive water from the tunnel to turbine condenser uh, to a, a turbine condenser that is on Monday. The utility firm says it will also set up an undersea silt barriers near the reactor's seawater intake duct to prevent contaminated water from leaking into the ocean. Work is continuing to inject nitrogen gas meanwhile into the containment vessel of the number one reactor to prevent a hydrogen blast. There have been no reports so far of problems with the temperature and pressure inside the reactor. The president of TEPCO has visited Fukushima Prefecture and apologized for the crisis. Masataka Shimizu of the Tokyo Electric Power Company visited the Fukushima government on Monday. I deeply apologize to the people who live in Fukushima Prefecture and who live outside of Fukushima Prefecture. In addition to the earthquake and the tsunami, the crisis at our company's nuclear plant caused physical and mental burdens. I'm sorry. Shimizu said he regrets not first meeting local residents to apologize, saying he was overwhelmed with handling the accident in Tokyo. He also said he's sorry that Fukushima Governor Yuhei Sato refused his request to meet for a direct apology. We will do our very best to compensate the people in the affected area. Our compensation will be based on the government's guidelines once they are compiled. Shimizu declined to comment on how he would take responsibility for the problems, saying he has to concentrate on overcoming the company's worst ever crisis. He added that he expects to see the plant's ruined number one through four reactors decommissioned.